Hi, thanks for your company on today's podcast. I'm going to be speaking today about what I call epic story, supporting role. I hope you enjoy it. Please leave a comment, subscribe if you don't already, tell a friend about this podcast. Thank you. I believe it's far better to have a supporting role in an epic story than it is to try and have an epic role in a small story. I think this touches on our ego um, as leaders. I think it touches on our desire to be epic, for our leadership to be epic, for our uh, footprint that we leave to be epic, for our legacy to be epic, for our voice and life to be epic and significant. And there's nothing, I suppose, wrong with the essence of that, but I have seen too many leaders um, finish up not fulfilling and not becoming um, the great leader they could become because they haven't figured out that it is better to it is better to play, to play a supporting role as a great leader in a, a bigger epic story going on and we serve other people um, in our supporting role uh, because that becomes a better thing to do for the benefit of serving the epic big picture that's way bigger than our part and way bigger than our role. But at some point in your leadership life, at some point in our leadership journey, we have to decide, okay, um, I need to stop trying to have an epic part in what really is a much smaller story than I could be part of. So we make our part bigger than it's supposed to be. We make our part the whole. We make our part, uh, we try to make it more significant than it really was intended to be because we can't stand the idea that perhaps life and God intended us not to be this epic leader, but God intended us to be a great leader, but a supporting leader in a epic story that's attached to other things that are going on around us. Um, I think figuring that out as a leader is a huge, huge um, discovery and a huge benefit to settling down into which are you? Are you content to be a supporting role in an epic story, contributing to an epic outcome that's beyond what you could do on your own, contributing to an epic team effort over years that's greater than what you could ever do on your own, no matter how great you are on your own. It's better, as it were, to, to be a great sergeant than to be a bad general. Because we all want to be a general and be the top rank, and often this again is to do with ego, a lack of sober um, self-assessment, a lack of ongoing self-inspection, and self-awareness, so we finish up with a complete wrong estimation of our gifts and our abilities, and therefore we become this small person, trying to appear epic, <laughs> trying to make ourselves look bigger than we are, more important than we are, sound more significant than we are, um, is tragic. When all along your life would have been far better to be spent to become a great support and attaching that support to a larger leader, a larger vision, a bigger idea, um, and you just become amazingly suited, and you become all that you could ever have become by having this supporting role in, in an epic adventure that you're attached to, in an epic vision you're part of, instead of trying to be yourself, this bigger than you are person, bigger than you are leader, in what really is and has to therefore become your own small story. Figure out, where's my life best spent? Am I better to be a supporting role, but I get to be part of an epic picture, an epic story? Or do I want to try to be epic, but really I'm trying to be that in what is always going to be a small story? It's better to be a support in an epic adventure than to try and be an epic person, an epic adventure in a kind of a smaller life. Figure out that as early as you can in your leadership 
pass that on to people as early as you can to them in their leadership because my feel is that far more of us are supposed to be supporters in an epic adventure and an epic presentation, an epic vision. Far more of us are supposed to be that than, than ever we were intended to be, you know, having an epic role in a small story. Well, thanks again for listening to today's podcast. I hope you found it beneficial. And uh, I know time is precious commodity for us all, but I would love it if you would take the time to write a review or comment. And above all, maybe subscribe to my podcast channel. Thank you.